Hello, this is John Canalopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. A very interesting patient that I think illustrates some of the key elements in assessing keratoconus patients uh, today. Uh, it's January 2020. We have a 42-year-old gentleman, Greek gentleman, who we have been following for almost four years. We have images of him from 2016. He has the diagnosis of keratoconus. We, of course, back then, uh, since he was uh, well corrected with uh, spectacles, at the time, um, he was um, uh, corrected with mild myopia on the right eye, about a minus two and a half, minus one diopter astigmatism, and uh, uh, close to um, six diopters on the left eye. Um, we, of course, reiterated the fact that he should not rub his eyes. We discussed that if uh, his keratoconus progressed, we would... Uh, proceed with stabilization with uh, uh, cornea cross-linking. And of course, it is common knowledge that usually patients over 35 do not progress. Well, this is a different case. We, of course, asked if he rubs his eyes. He categorically denied, since he does have the knowledge uh, that um, eye rubbing may uh, make his cone worse. Uh, and uh, this is his cone back in 2016. This is him today. He has a almost two diopter progression in the inferior steepening and a 1.3 diopter flattening superior in the cornea showing the asymmetric uh, configuration of his cornea now if we look at the uh, oct imaging very important in our assessment and we've tried to propagate this uh, knowledge in this type of assessment these are the optiview six millimeter cornea and epithelial maps we can see that the cornea epithelium is very thin over the steepest and um, thinnest part of the cornea depicting active disease in this patient and um, uh, these parameters are even more prominent in the left eye we have a uh, almost 10 diopter change here 10.3 diopter steepening of the cone area um, and significant flattening in the area around the cone the cone on the left eye is more central and it, the epithelial changes are even more prominent on the left eye over the cone area so after careful questioning on how the patient sleeps. He mentioned that he sleeps uh, face down and he usually sets his um, hands over the pillow and lays his eyes um, over his hands. Uh, thus, um, this, in our opinion, is illustrative that this patient rubs his eyes during the sleep. This, in my opinion, is the only reason uh, that this patient has progressed at this age and um, this is something we should uh, evaluate and uh, investigate, if you may, carefully in our patients and advise them accordingly. Unfortunately, the same day we saw a younger 30-year-old lady that we had um, treated her with the Athens Protocol cross-linking a year ago in the left eye, which has improved and keratoconus is almost gone, but her right eye has progressed. And again, she, after questioning uh, and um, uh, categorically denying of our rubbing, realized that she sleeps face down, uh, right side down on her knuckles, um, and thus the uh, reason that her right eye is progressing. Uh, so in this patient, we will advise of a face mask. It could be as simple as a ski mask uh, to wear at bedtime or even some more sophisticated devices that she can obtain by a fellow optician. Um, this case, obviously here, it does require cross-thinking and um, considering the minimal cornea thickness is 426, we do have a room to apply the Athens protocol and um, not only uh, take off some of the extreme cornea steepening but uh, with a laser, but uh, coupling the two we have shown that can give us almost 20 diopter flattening in some patients, which here would fit well for this patient to avoid cornea transplantation since at 42 and a very productive part of his life, he's uh, reaching a dead end as far as his residual function. I hope you found uh, these data and this discussion interesting. This is John Kenlopoulos uh, signing out from uh, Athens, Greece. Thank you so much for watching.